Hello YouTube. Kanas Lake is located in the Altai Mountains in the north of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. It feeds mainly from the largest glaciers of Altai, located in the Tavan Bogdo Ula Massif. The reservoir, which is not particularly remarkable at first glance, is actually fraught with a number of mysteries. Among the many legends of the Tuvan people who have lived in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of China for centuries, a special place is occupied by the tale of a strange monster stealing livestock and breeding fog and clouds. At the end of the 20th century, mythological history gained quite real scientific evidence. Actually, it all started with the fact that in 1980, a group of scientists from Xinjiang University discovered a shoal of giant fish in the waters of Kanas, stretching for dozens of meters. Two days later, another group of researchers not only observed this strange shoal or flock, but also managed to capture the creatures on photo and video film. The waters of Kaunas have an amazing ability to change their color several times a year. In May, during the thaw, the water of the lake becomes grayish-blue. In June, it acquires a heavenly shade. And uh, a month later, when the flood begins, Kanas becomes milky white. In August, heavy rains turn the waters of the lake into a greenish color, which in autumn is replaced by bright emerald. Uh, the Tuvan settlement of Denge Lake is located on the southeastern shore. Since ancient times, they talk about three attractions of the lake. The first of which is a wooden dam of a natural origin, the length of which exceeds a kilometer. It is located in the northern part of the reservoir. A lot of dead trees are forever entwined in a creepy ensemble. Every log taken out of the dam um, towed uh, downstream sooner or later sails back to the jam. And there is a scientific explanation for this. Three trunks flow down rivers into the lake, float with the flow, but at a certain moment, gust of wind from the south blow the trees back to the north. For thousands of years, trees cannot get out of Kanas, which is very impressive and quite natural. The second attraction is the dragons or monsters living in the waters of the lake, mentioned in ancient chronicles, capable of dragging uh, victims into the depths. For example, a horse from a watering hole. In the 2-1 epic, this monster, interestingly, not only steals livestock, but also breatheth fog and clouds. The third anomaly is the Buddha's radiance, an extremely rare atmospheric phenomenon when a human shape is seen in the clouds sparkling over the lake. If the Buddha's radiance is an extremely rare phenomenon and the dam of trees on the country can be seen by anyone always, then the monster from the lake occupies exactly an intermediate position. There are not so few witnesses to its appearance. The monster, or rather the monsters, could even be captured on photo and videotape. It is believed that the huge creature was first noticed by students of the local university in 1985. Soon there were rumors uh, that the monster regularly drags animals and birds under the water. In the 1990s it was forgotten about, but... In the new millennium, it began to catch the eye of people again. So on September 27, 2003, immediately after the devastating earthquake, eyewitnesses noticed a huge black object on the surface of the lake. The monster was swimming towards the shore. 
However, are the dragons of the Lake Kansas so mysterious? After all, back in the late 1980s, the semi-mythical history began to acquire quite scientific detail. At that time, a group of scientists from the Xinjiang University discovered a shoal of giant fish in the waters of the lake, stretching for tens of meters. Just two days later, another group not only watched the strange procession, but also was able to capture it on the video. Biologists, having studied the materials, decided a flock of giant taimens settled in the Lake Kanas. Taimen is a genus of predatory salmon fish growing up to 2 to 3 meters in length and weighing hundreds of kilograms. Mystically minded, two ones do not believe scientists, and they try not to catch fish in canas. They are afraid of incurring the wrath of monsters. In, few, the few, in the future, Chinese scientists continue to defend the hypothesis of uh, a giant Taiman fish. This just decided the way that had to be adjusted to bring it in line with Yao Guai. The beast began to reach 2 or 3 tons of weight and 12 to 15 meters in length. Such a huge predator may well feed on its relatively small brethren and drag pets from the shore. So what is time in? If other salmon appeared on our planet two or three million years ago, the time in as many as 18 million years ago. In small species, eight to 10 diagonal stripes are clearly visible on the sides of the body. During spawning, the body turns copper red. Time in is widely distributed, found in almost all major rivers of Siberia and the Far East, as well as in the Altai Mountains. In Soviet times, sometimes canned diamond could be found on sale in tin cans all over the country, or in some places. Kanas Lake is a very popular holiday destination for tourists who come to enjoy the pristine nature. Portable cameras are quite common now because tourists sometimes become unwitting witnesses of unique events or phenomena. On July 5, 2007, several travelers managed to make an eight-minute video of the movement of a group or shoal, approximately 15 individuals of the so-called monsters in Kanas. The fish, if that was fish, converged and diverged under the water, more like a small fleet. Um, and the uh, participation of people, of course, in the performance was excluded because the size of the body parts of those so-called monsters appearing from under the water was lar much larger than the tourists, or maybe the whole tourist group. Now, Yao Guai is a compound word consisting of two Chinese characters. Um, Yao is a noun meaning monster or demon, and Guai means strange or unusual when used as an adjective, um, and monster or unusual creature as a noun. Each word individually signifies and connotes strangers, strangeness. A yao is a supernatural creature with uncanny properties, usually dwelling in remote wilderness at the fringes of civilization and arising as the result of anomalies in the material force chi that pervades the natural world. And that's why this word was used. Um, it would be interesting to note after earthquakes around lakes in other parts of the world, uh, what what creatures had been sighted? But it it's it should be uh, 
study, a research project, but uh, this is not something I can do. However, I'll keep my my attention to details from Eurasia about anything similar. And as for the Altai Mountains, uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very interesting part of the world when it comes to paranormal phenomena. And you can find videos in my channel about it. So stay tuned for more uh, videos for me about cryptozoology and Eurasia and other parts of the world. If you can support my research, you can see how to do it in the description to this video. Thank you so much for your attention to my work. And um, I will try to bring you more videos soon. Please like my channel. Please tell others about it. Thank you.